What's going on, guys? Welcome to WeAreCritics.com. You guys know me, Clep Napier, and I'm here with a very special guest. You guys know about this series from MGM Plus. It's probably the most wild, bonkers thing on television right now. I got my guy, Nathan D. Simmons. How are you, brother? Good, good. I'm doing good, man. Thank you for asking. How you feeling? I'm, I'm doing really good. I, I got to ask you, what was it like jumping into this crazy ensemble, this crazy story, this crazy cast, when you got the call to be a part of this, what 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 was going through your mind when you read that script and what's going on? Uh, I feel like you said the buzzword already. It was crazy. It was <laughs> crazy. From day one, it was wild. Like, um, show up on set, like the peace truck is there. They got the like the fog going with like natural fog. And like, you see the monsters in the back that I didn't even get to look at until they started chasing me. Like, it was, it was crazy. Yeah. I didn't so even know who the they first, were. That was the first time you saw them was when you were on set? <laughs> Yes, the first, I didn't even know who they were. And they were in the fog, too. And I'm like, why aren't people staring at me, right? And then all of a sudden, they're like, action, they're chasing me. And I'm like, oh, shoot. Like, And the helps were real. <laughs> and, and, and that's the great thing about this series. Like, it has such an awesome horror element. Um, something you probably don't even really see much on regular television or cable television that's not, like, feature film. So are you a horror buff? Like, are you always into the, the genre of horror? Or was this something new for you? Absolutely, ma'am. Uh, horror fanatic like even the b horror like i i used to go on youtube all the time during the pandemic and like find any horror some are like terrible but like it just it, it helped my addiction right so being on this it was a dream like i was a fan before i even got to work on it and like um i just love how it's like i find like a very pure horror like I, i'm sick and tired of jump scares and i love like suspense and like and terror and i really feel like this really um uh, propels this in the proper way, you know, from. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it definitely does. It, it, and let's speak to that uh, with the Elgin character. You play Elgin. Um, you, you, your character is a little ominous himself. Like you don't really know much about him. It's really a slow burn and getting to know him, which makes it all creepy, even though he comes off as kind of soft, but I feel like there's more underneath that that we haven't seen yet. So can you give us a little bit about who Elgin is and, I know you can't spoil why there's such a, of a connection, but tell us a little more about the character and 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 where he's coming from going into this, landing into this town with the rest of the people on the bus. Yeah, um, it was spoiling too much. Um, you know, I think Elgin is someone that um, you know trust is important for, right? Like he doesn't he doesn't really trust, especially in from he doesn't trust everybody. The first minute off the bus he sees a crazy lady shoot the bus tire with a shotgun runs away from monsters. Was another crazy man with a gun telling him to wait outside. Right. So he, he yeah. trusted something that's serious for him. And, um, and he's a very vulnerable person. And with all those together, uh, there's a lot of things he wants to say. And, um, he, he, he decides not to say them. And so like, there's a lot like that, the, the things that he doesn't say, you know, and the things he reacts to and the way he feels about it, that he doesn't, you know, that people know are just as important as the words he does, you know? Yeah. yeah. Are there, are there any surprises that we can probably expect with the, with Elgin uh, going forth that, you know, that we wouldn't, that we wouldn't absolutely expect at all? Uh, any surprises, any surprises? Um, there may be some, there may be a few, but I can't, I, I don't want to say none. Like he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a nice, he's a nice little kid. Let me see. He's a nice kid. He's a nice, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's loyal. That's it. I say he's loyal. He's loyal. Yeah. Well, if there's anything that I've learned about watching from is that I don't trust anything. You never know. <laughs> it could go left. It could go right. You, you don't know. But I, I do want to talk about, um, let's get into spoiler territory a little bit. Um, he does uh, kind of warm up to a certain character in this thing. Um, and you, you should know who I'm talking about. There is a, there is a character that kind of, you know. You know. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to talk about no names, but there's a character that he kind of warms up that too. Yeah. So, um, is there anything? Is there something there? Uh, some kind of kinship, friendship that we could look forward to, without any spoilers? Because I'm not saying who, but is there someone that that he could be probably creating some kind of kinship or friendship with? Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, I feel like there are people that he warms up to. You know, there are certain yeah. people that he he warms up to, um, and some easier, some uh, easier than others, but. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's hard to to really say like where certain 
things are going to go because you know how yeah. the front world is like things can change in an instant right but i feel like yeah there's there's as this, as the season goes on there are people that you know elgin for some reason decides he's going to trust and yeah. warm warm up to and uh especially those people compared to other people where um they're trying to get stuff out of him but he's just you know stonewalled you know what i mean so but yeah and and, and will will we pop well too many spoilers i i, I hope that we i hope that we possibly get a, a gist of you know why Elgin is you know so closed off uh, in in in, uh, in in the future. So is there anything that you can talk to the fans about that you can't wait for them to see that you just absolutely loved about the Elgin character? You know, sometimes uh, people are unexpected and, and and do things you wouldn't expect and do things out of their character, and you may not even know why. You know, but I feel like Elgin is one of them. Like. I feel like going in the future, there's things that he decides he's going to do that will surprise people. And um, and that's with surrounding, like things we, that we try not to speak on. And also other things was like, whoa, shoot, Elgin decided he's going to do that. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. he's a, yeah. So it's I feel like if you are making, if you think you have Elgin down completely as like who he is as a character, I feel like, uh, you know, maybe put that to the side a little bit. All right. So you guys hear it first. Elgin is going to be filled with surprises. The character that I'm kind of warming up to, he kind of reminds me of me. He's a little reserved. He likes to assess the situation before he dives into anything. So I relate to that character a lot. Nathan, I want to thank you for taking the time to talk with me. Uh, you guys, all oh, make sure you check it out from on MGM Plus every Sunday night. New episodes drop and, and find out what's going to happen with Elgin because I know he's put something up the sleeve. He's too calm. He's too, too cool. I want to thank you <laughs> for talking to me, man. <laughs> hey, man, nice to meet you, man. Eh? Sure, I want to see you around. Later. <laughs>